Memphis, 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 Memphis,
We've got the rumor being that the name is the UFM, you, or sorry, shameless plug again, UFL, United Football League. And then the rumor now is that we're only getting eight teams, eight teams. What an absolute heartbreaker, dude. Like, Liz, I, I love the back and forth between USFL, XFL fans. I love the beef. I like I like the tribalism, you know? Man, screw it. You know, that's your team. You're going to ride for your team. I'm going to ride for my team. I can respect it, but I don't think either side wanted to see something like this. I mean, going from 16 teams, possibly, down to eight teams? I mean, it, if it wasn't the rumor everywhere, but remember, the 14 teams, sorry, the 12-team league rumor was the big one going around first for a while. Eight USFL, four XFL teams. Seems that rumor has cooled off a lot, and the newest rumor of the day is eight teams. So what does that eight-team league look like? That's going to be a mouthful. Eight-team league. All right. So what does the eight-team team look like? So basically, any of the teams between both leagues that have already had secured home venues for the upcoming season in 2024 are good to go. Okay, that's your Memphis Showboats. We've already got confirmation that we're living, we're surviving, riding down the river in our boats, just cruising, not worried about a thing. Our season's kicking off. All we're worried about is getting a head coach and getting this thing going. Other teams, Birmingham, that's basically the USFL League office. So they're sticking around. Detroit up there in Michigan with the Panthers. You know, they had a lot of uh, local support up there to get into Ford Field. They got the Rocket Mortgage on their uh, on their uniforms and the Rocket Mortgage person up there. I don't know his name, but he's a big dog up there. He went to like Michigan State, I believe, very heavily involved in Michigan things. Uh, seems like he had a good hand in helping the Panthers get into Michigan, get into Ford Field. So Detroit Panthers, we should be good. And that's about it for the USFL. You know, we had Canton. Canton still selling season tickets. Uh, they were hubbing the Maulers and the Generals. From all report, all rumors, it does not seem like the Maulers or the Generals will be making it through. So what will happen to Canton? Hopefully the Hall of Fame Village will still host the championship game of the Merge League because... I mean, if you've seen the championship game in Canton, if you've gone to it, you just, you know, it's a vibe. Okay. It's different up there. You're literally, you have history all around you. It's the birthplace of football for crying out loud. Okay. Where else better to have a spring league championship? It's got that perfect little stadium, about 15,000, 20,000 capacity, pack them suckers in, looks good on TV. You know, it's, it's perfect. So, Canton probably falling by the wayside. Uh, then we've got the Breakers. They were in talks to get with a uh, renovated baseball stadium, ULS, some kind of baseball soccer stadium down there. Uh, seems like talks have stalled on that ever since the merger started, or ever since the merger talks started happening. So doesn't look like the Breakers will have a home to play at. They're probably gone. And you got the Stars, Philadelphia. They were playing in Michigan with the Panthers. Now, could you theoretically leave them there and just have an extra team and just run that hub back? Sure. I'd love that. More teams, more opportunities, more jobs. Okay? The more teams, the better. Eight teams, in my opinion, is an absolute failure. Obviously, that to me, that means that in 2025 and Further, expansion will be pretty rapid. But for this upcoming season, if we only have eight teams, in my opinion, that's an absolute failure. Uh, sucks for all the people involved. Sucks for all the people that are going to lose their jobs. It just it sucks all around. You know, we could kind of stomach a 12-team league because then that's only four teams worth of players, coaches, personnel, getting cut, getting fired, all that. But eight, ugh. You're, you're basically just getting rid of a whole league. So, again, what, what will the 18 team look like? It'll look possibly like this. Arlington's going to stick around. The Renegades, they were the XFL champions. Houston, it's a battle. 
it's a battle in Houston, it seems like. Will it be the Gamblers? Will it be the Roughnecks? If they make it the Gamblers, it could be a nice 4-4 split and a true 50-50 little merger. If they go with the Roughnecks, who knows? But uh, after Arlington and Houston, you got San Antonio with the Brahmas. You got St. Louis with the Battle Hawks, D.C. Defenders, and then Stallions, Boats, Panthers. There's your eight teams. Uh, one other thing to note is that uh, Russ Brandon, he was the XFL's moose, basically. You know, he was the XFL's president of all that stuff. The USFL, we had our boy, Daryl Moose Johnston. He was running, he was the president of the USFL. Now, it seems Russ is going to be the president of the merged league. No word yet on what Moose's role could be. Um, me personally, I would love it if we could keep Russ on the business side and we could keep, sorry, if we could keep Russ on the business side and keep Moose on the football side. Now, Moose could be pursuing other options. Maybe he doesn't want all that responsibility. Maybe he just wants to get out and this could be a way for him to get out. You know, he is a commentator with Fox. Uh, he's hinted a couple of times that he would like to. Uh, try his hand at being an NFL general manager. So being in the USFL the past two years, being the president, overseeing all these football operations has given him a pretty good background on possibly being an NFL general manager. So TBD on what Moose is going to do, but Russ Brandon is going to be the president per Sportico sports business journal, Ben Fisher. Uh, after that, it's really all up in the air, guys. I mean, we're hearing things like there's going to be 90 players in a training camp, 90, 90 players on the roster for training camps. I'm not a big fan. It just seems like you're setting more guys up to get cut. You know, I mean, if you bring in 90 guys, you're going to be getting rid of about 35, 40 of them when you make those cuts to get to the active roster for the actual season. But I suppose it's a good way to get eyes on as many guys as you can. So that way injuries obviously do happen. And you may be like the guy that was like right there on the verge and you had to cut him to make room. You can bring him back. You already know about him. He knows about you. I get that. Uh, as far as everything else, I mean, hold on, folks. It's going to be a wild ride these next few months. Uh, like I said, let's. March 30th kickoff is what we know for sure. That is a Saturday. That is 120 days away, about four months. So uh, the the XFL, Danny Garcia, I believe more specifically, put an Instagram post out that had the USFL, XFL merger finalized thing that it cleared antitrust. Uh, it said they will that we will be getting more information in the coming weeks. So what does that mean? Ah, could be two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, but we should get more clarity by the end of the month. I'm excited that we have another year of spring football. All right. That's what we can hang our hat on. All the jobs lost is absolutely terrible. It sucks. You know, a lot of our, a lot of the guys in our network, our media group, you know, they're getting reached out to by players, by players, families, like, What's going on? Do you guys know? Is my son going to have a job? Like, it's it's rough out here, man. It's really, really rough out here. Uh, business as usual for both sides until something more comes. But uh, it's about to be wild, folks. Uh, the spring football world has changed forever as we know it. Hopefully, this is for the better. Hopefully, this is for the long term, which I think it is. I, I do think... This is the path to sustainable spring football for years to come. Will we make, will they make the necessary steps to ensure that we will have sustainable spring football all year round to be determined? I'm excited. You guys should be excited because the boats are here no matter what. All right. We just need our head coach and we're off and running. So Memphis, my Memphians, don't you worry. The boats are going to be rolling. We're going to be showing out. Showtime is still on. Liberty Bowl is getting some cool renovations to it. I hope you guys come out, show up, show out, all that good stuff, man. And uh, 
Go Bolts. Thank you, guys.